boom, hey internets, we are talking about art direction, we're talking about saving time, saving money, but saving your time and the designer's time to get your killer looks, your final designs that you're going to put out in the world for your brand in this video. And I've been wanting to talk about this subject for a while. Apart from doing this video that you're watching here, so my YouTube channel and consulting, I still do a lot of contracted work. It can be for a viewer for sure, but I have a couple companies at this point, I'm kind of their virtual art department where they'll need something for their brand and we have a relationship there and that just goes. But I did freelance for all the years. When I started designing apparel, I would always be working on stuff for other companies. And so this goes specifically for apparel, but it can be used in many other applications. But if you want me to design something, it doesn't matter what it is, a garment, but let's just say for generality's sake, it's going to be a t-shirt design. If you have it drawn out on a napkin, I'm gonna need you to send me a picture of that napkin. But what I always do is have you send reference pictures. If you can give me an image of something and it doesn't have to be a picture of another t-shirt design that's finished, it could be a photo of anything that you grabbed from the internet, it could be from a poster, it can be from a label or a package design, anything that gives me more visual reference towards the end design that you have in your brain is going to help a designer. We work in a visual language, a visual alphabet. So if you could give me 10 pictures rather than five, it helps me create a better idea of what you're looking for. Rather than you verbally saying, oh, I want a really clean design. When I say clean, I have visual ideas of what I think clean is, whether it's interior design, apparel design, aesthetics of a brand in general, and you have different ideas of what clean is when you say clean, like, oh, I really like clean design. And say, oh, I like clean too. But in my mind, I have a visual and you have a visual. So if you can share some of those visuals for me, then I can see, oh, for my client, this is what they think is clean. So if they want their design to be clean, I'm gonna take my cues from this. And it just creates an environment for me where my first round is gonna be much further along than you not giving me any visuals and any kind of references. Now, descriptions help, a phone call helps because I can hear the tonation and where you're emphasizing different things. But ultimately, if you wanna have better communication for your freelance or your design, whether you're contracting a designer that me that has decades of experience or someone on Fiverr, it's really good to put together as many references as possible so you can do it in three or four rounds of design rather than five and six. So for me, when I'm doing freelance work, the initial quote comes with four rounds of back and forth and then I start charging additional after that. So that you know the frame of mind is, hey, I think I could do the design that you want, but you also have to help me, right? You can't just kind of like leave me here because if we get past two rounds of design and I'm still still nowhere close to what you're envisioning, then at least there we can say, okay, what do we need to get to the end? Or maybe this is gonna work. Maybe you just pay for the hours and etc. And that's going to be a process because designers are artists. And so you might go through a lot of designers till you find the one that's perfect for your brand. Hope that helps. In CBA, I have two solutions that could help depending on where you're going. If you need some tech pack templates, I have those done in a vector format and in a Canva format. So once you purchase the tech pack, you could actually create a tech pack for free once you have the artwork from your artist, but have the traditional vector Adobe Illustrator style tech pack as well. Also, if you're about to drop your first collection with hats and t-shirts, like so using blanks, I have a course that I put together, it's comprehensive. It's like a foundation of starting to put a clothing brand together. If you have any other questions surrounding this subject, you could drop it all down below as I read every comment. Also hit the like button while you're at it, but you can also text me at this number here and that reaches my iPhone every single time and we could go back and forth via text. I'll see you guys on the next one, bye.